I have a giveaway going on at the moment for Anthem the Game to celebrate reaching 3000 subs. To be in with a chance to win, simply click on the link in the description below for ways to enter. Good luck, and now on with the usual broadcast. How's it going guys? Welcome back to another Anthem video. So today I wanted to talk about Endgame. We know what we're getting at launch, we don't know what we're getting after launch, we only have speculation and namings of what will be coming. But so I wanted to dive into this a bit more to kind of give you all a better understanding of what to expect when the game launches on the 15th for early access and the 22nd for the rest of the world. So as of right now, we know that we're getting three strongholds for launch, one of which we played in the open and VIP demo. We'll also be getting contracts which will be available in basic and legendary form and these are acquired as you rank up through the factions and we'll also be getting free play. Now I know what you're saying, how is free play going to be endgame? Well the free play environment will evolve over time from season to season, it will have seasonal events, it will have periods where certain things happen. To be able to understand this properly, think of the changes Fortnite is going through right now. When you first started playing Fortnite, the map was pretty basic and then it got covered in snow and then it's been changing over time, you've had the Ice King appear and whatnot. All of this changes the way that map is played. At the end of the recent demo that we had, we had what we thought was a cataclysm. It was basically Shaper Tech starting to go Ori and because of that, different enemies appeared. These enemies in turn will drop good gear. Now, these are seasonal events that will happen from time to time and they won't be something that will take place consistently. So in that regard, free play will still remain relevant. But once you've done the free strongholds, you've done contracts, you've exhausted the free roam, what else is there? Well, you've got the 30 hour campaign to get through, but that's pretty much gonna be a one time affair. And once you've done that, the conversations and stuff you have around the Fort Tarsus and how it evolves will just happen as you play. They're not really going to keep, they're not going to really be the reason you come back. So that leads me on to raids. We know that raids in this traditional sense won't be here. Any type of raid type content that's going to be coming to Anthem will not require any more than four players. It's going to be designed for four players. And this is why Ben Irving didn't want to say that they're having raids because when you say raids as he put it there's a connotation to that that requires you to increase the number of players go through a specific formula have a number of bosses and so forth however what they're calling aspirational content is essentially the same thing but they're just putting their twist onto it and not following the traditional formula of requiring even more players than the basic setup so if you look at a division like i said in my previous video it's gone from four to eight players. Destiny's gone from three to six. Anthem is gonna stay at four players. So once you have your set four team, you can pretty much experience the whole of Anthem the way it's supposed to be. So right now we know nothing about the way raids will take part. Bioware are revealing nothing. So we're pretty much in the dark when it comes to this type of content. It would be nice for them to reveal something at this point, but the fact that it's not there at launch and people are really criticizing Anthem and EA and Bioware for not this being there at launch, I think is quite harsh because I don't recall any other MMO or looter shooter type game that's had end game raids available at launch. The Division 2 won't have it. The Division 1 didn't have incursions on launch. Destiny didn't have any raids at launch. MMOs don't have raids at launch. They're usually locked behind for a few weeks to allow people to enjoy the main campaign before they enter into the end game content. And I think this is normal. And the fact that people are complaining about this, I find it highly unjustified. And honestly, it's just people hating on EA. They're just looking for any reason. So however, people are kind of worried that there is a lack of endgame content at launch. And once you hit level 30 within the first week or two, and you start going into the endgame content, trying to gear up, level up, and gain access to the masterworks and legendary gear, people feel that there's not enough depth there to keep you going. And once you've attained this, there's very little to do. And I kind of agree. Just, be, you know, though I am enjoying Anthem, I see where these concerns are coming from. And I do agree because, because honestly, it is only three strongholds and all strongholds will drop the same loot. There is no stronghold specific loot. All loot pools are shared. So once you find that one stronghold that you like, you're pretty much going to be running that one over and over again for efficiency. The same with contracts. Once you've done them and you've exhausted them, once you're ranked up, you'll do them for your weeklies and your dailies. 
but you won't be going back to them, you'll essentially be going to the stronghold which has multiple chances of loot. So after this you want something more, you need something more substantial. We know that there's shaper storms, we know that there's cataclysms, we've got our first glimpse of it in the demo, but what these will entail we don't know, in fact when it comes to shaper storms, other than the E3 trailer we know nothing about this. All we saw in the E3 was a storm and them running through and then flying into the vortex and that was it and there's been not a peep of word for it. So as of right now in terms of the known unknowns we have aspirational raid content, we have cataclysms which we've got a glimpse of so at least we have some idea and we have shaper storms which we again have no idea. I think Bioware at this point need to talk about this and give some reassurances. I also believe Bioware need to show something even if it's just concept art to show us that this sort of thing exists, it's there, it's coming. By them turning around and saying that it's coming soon, I appreciate it, but showing concept art and showing a couple of images here and there is not going to end the world, it's not going to cause the apocalypse. But it will give fans an assurance that it's coming. Many a time people have been lied to, many a time people have been let down by developers and publishers and whatnot, so people are weary and they want reassurances and because of this, I think at this point Bioware need to show us something that's part of the raid, Shaper Storm and give us a bit more details on the cataclysms. Like I said, the free strongholds, the contracts and the free roam events for now will be enough end game, but that will only keep people tied up for a certain time. We need more information and as of right now I think the end game is just about satisfactory, but it does need more substance. I don't know guys, you let me know in the comment section below what you think because the end game is where it's at. Once you've played the main campaign there's no going back so the end game is what you have. Once you get to end game you want to keep it varied and being limited to free strongholds though I do appreciate more are coming in the later releases at present it's bare bones and it needs work. So with that said I want to end the video here. I hope you enjoyed it. Leave your comments below. Let me know what you think. Do you think the end game is bare bones? Do you think it's... I think it's just enough me personally, but it will quickly get old if they don't release something within four weeks. So yeah, just let me know in the comment section below what you think. You know what I think, but I'm more eager to hear what you think. Right, thanks for watching, thanks for being here, and until the next video, 